That's local artist Mark Odette with Hear You Sing, and he is actually joining me on the line right now to talk about an upcoming show that's happening this weekend that he's performing with. Mark, how are you today? I'm doing excellent. How are you? Good. Can't complain. How's everything Good. going? I see you got a, an upcoming show this weekend. Yes, yes. I'm super, super pumped about that at, at the Little Red Wagon Winery near Shawville. Okay. That's in, and, uh, in Clarendon, eh? Excuse me. Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. yeah, it is. Yeah. Just, just within about about a kilometer uh, west of uh, Shawville. Yeah. So tell us about the show because you have a very interesting way of. I find with your music, you're you're very much a storyteller. So, people who are going to see the show, can they expect the the same kind of what they've come to expect from you? Yes. Yeah. What what what's happened recently is I've I've I had a bit of luck this this winter um, writing a few more songs and. Uh, and, and about about the Ottawa Valley and different aspects of it, and and, I, and then I realized it's kind of funny. It, and then I realized I have enough songs now to do a full two hour two set show entirely about uh, stories and songs about the history and heritage of the Ottawa Valley. So I thought, oh, fantastic! Because before I, I had something, but I was, I kind of had padded it with other songs, but now I have a full set. And so I I, I put this show together and then and then tested it out in in Pembroke in in January at um, the um, Upper Ottawa Valley Heritage Centre, and it went really well, and feedback was tremendous. So uh, this is the, so now coming up on, on Saturday um, is uh, at the winery is, is going to be the second showing of this, and I've kind of got it tweaked, and I've got the, the overall narrative kind of adjusted. So it, it, it's, it's a really informative and interesting experience to, to hear about different aspects of the history of, of our Ottawa Valley and then a song written about that, whatever that aspect is. So it, it's a fun and entertaining way to, to, to go. Yeah, because last time we were chatting, I think it was in the summer, you were saying that you were putting together some songs about the Ottawa Valley, and, and now you've got this entire show based on, you know, information and, and, and stories. Yes, yes. And, and, and the whole process of, of, of researching the stories is also interesting. It, it ties back to um, work I was doing a few years ago professionally doing historic site assessments and so um th this whole type of show about historical songwriting is, is is the outcome of 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 learning the skill uh professionally and then also to, you know getting more involved in music and then also in parallel with all that um i'm i'm, I'm very much into a wilderness canoeing and 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 we, we would visit these historic sites in the bush and and then after and then, and then we started exploring them, and, and then that became a focus of some of our canoe trips, is exploring these sites. And so all these things came together um, to the point where I was starting to write songs about these really interesting and inspiring things that we discovered in the bush. And that's what these uh, songs and stories are all about. Because I was, I was going to say, like, how do you come across a, a topic, or how do you find that topic that you say, you know what, this would make a great song. This is a really interesting backdrop in regards to a, a certain area of our listening area. So, yeah, um, sometimes it, 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 it happens just by, uh, I, I, I find something in the bush that, 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 that uh, really interests me and, it, and inspires me. And then, and then when I read about the history, when I learn about the history of the spot site, it, it sort of feeds to it. And then a song comes out of that. Other times people will, will approach me after, after, I, after a show and they'll say, did you hear about this story? And I'll, and I'll be told um, a really neat story and then I'll research that. And then, and then oh, if, I'm, if I'm lucky, a, a song, song will come out of that. And so some of the songs are, are from that origin as well. So when you're in the bush, I'm, I'm going to put you on the spot here a little bit. What is the most interesting thing that, that, that you've come across where you said, oh, I, I've got to look into this a little bit more and I've got to write a song about this? Well, I have to say um, the wagon roads, the, the supply roads that were used to, for hauling men and materials to the lumber camps. And there's, there's a whole, there was a whole network of these roads all through um, the Ottawa Valley. Because the Ottawa Valley, I, I, didn't, I didn't really realize this till, till, till recently, that the Ottawa Valley uh, had super rich and the richest pine forests. And that's why they came here in the early 1800s was to, to harvest, uh, harvest that lumber. And so, anyways, so, so the roads, the supply chain roads that they've established are, are, are super interesting to walk along. And, and then along those roads are the old stopping places and the depot farms. And then you'll find uh, some equipment and, and mangled pails from where they water the horses and <laughs> all kinds of stuff. So it's just neat piecing together 
the traces of, of the history. And, and, and so I have a couple of songs I've written about the wagon roads and the stopping places. And, and you know, they, they kind of, I don't I, I kind of wish I could somehow go back in time and experience those firsthand, but of course, that's <laughs> not really an option, is it? You're, you're, you're kind of like a, a historian a detective in a way. Yeah, and yeah, and it's it's neat how how where, where you can find information about these places, and, and I, you know what, and uh, social media is is a way to find people who can give firsthand accounts, and they've, they've had some success in finding descendants of of some of these farms and properties that that were able to tell me about what they know, and, and a lot of this, a lot of some of this information is not in history books. And so, although I have a collection of books about the Ottawa Valley that I refer to, uh, but there's, um, sometimes there is no substitute to, uh, to talking to people with firsthand knowledge, and you'll get a different slant or different little tiny, you know, facts to try and tie it all together. It's a, it's a really interesting challenge. It's a puzzle is what it is. Yeah, and you're putting it together through, through music. Yeah, yeah, and I'm, I'm, so, I'm really pleased about that. I, I'm happy that I've evolved this way and... Uh, um, yeah, I'm quite quite happy with that. Well, Mark, if, if somebody wants to come and check out the show, who who has you know your kind of passion for for the the local history, I think they're in for a real treat. It's happening at the Red Wagon Winery in Clarendon. Uh, it's ten dollars to get in. Can you purchase tickets at the door, or do you have to call ahead of time? No, you have to call ahead of time. Um, and the other thing the winery does, which is fantastic, is they they also offer. Um, a really delicious meal ahead of time. So um, that's what I'd encourage people to do is make an evening of it and, and book, book a table with some friends and, and then be there for the meal and then the entertainment. And the other thing, too, about this winery, and I, I don't know if you've ever been there or not, but it, it's, it's, they, they do a lot of hosting for music, and they got all kinds of uh, really terrific artists that are coming this, this summer and spring. And so uh, I think uh, we'll be spending quite a bit of time there listening, and listening to the other people playing, too. It sounds like a great venue. I mean, you've got, you know, the, the optional meal at 6 p.m. You're taking the stage at 7. It's $10 to get in. You can get your tickets at the website Events Tickets, or you can call the Red Wagon Winery, 819-744-0842. This is the show that you are putting on called Forgotten Memories of the Ottawa Valley. It's a folk music show featuring Mark Odette. Don't forget, it's this Saturday, March the 4th, uh, Mark, it sounds like it's going to be a very informative and fun night. It, it's really, the, I get really terrific feedback. People love, people love hearing stories and then songs about those stories. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm so fortunate to have landed on this spot. Well, listen, if, uh, you know, we, we've known each other for years, and I've, I've been following you through since you were up on stage here over at uh, Valley Search for a Star, so I know you're going to knock him dead. Have a great show this weekend, and we're going to make sure we mention it a couple more times to get people out there to see you. Awesome. Thanks so much, Andrew. Hey, have a great day, Mark. Okay, you too. See you, buddy. Okay, take care.